Hey everybody, it's Dustin and I am a member of Logi.Wiki Research Group and today we are very proud to announce that we have finally finished the multimeter inside the microscope HUD display project which we call the One Eye. Now here it is without further ado. It is a simple ocular that attaches right to your microscope. Very easy to install as I will show you now. You just remove your old ocular and then go ahead and install the your new one eye. All right, and you may want to move over your little rubber gasket there. All right, and install is complete other than supplying power. Now there are two different ways to supply power to this device. The first way to power the device is to simply plug into the wall. If you do that, then it will, um, the one eye will essentially just become like a standalone between your multimeter and the one eye. Okay, it'll just be the simple HUD display is show whatever your multimeter does on your one eye. Okay, if you plug it into the PC, you'll get access to a bit more, uh, quite a bit more features. All right, uh, essentially you can adjust the field of view that way. You can actually, it does work with OBS. So you can um, have it overlay on your stream or your video recordings. Um, anything like that, which is very cool. That's what you guys will be seeing in my videos from now on. That's how I will be doing it from now on. Um, and a couple of different features. We won't be going into everything today, uh, but we'll be showing you the basics. The first question that you guys may have is, do I have to change out my multimeter? And the answer is yes. The way this works is via Bluetooth. So you will need a Bluetooth compatible multimeter, okay? We do have a list of compatible multimeters on the website, so please check that out before you make your purchase so you can explore what multimeter you will need to get. Uh, they do range anywhere from like $26 up to $500. Uh, so like quite a bit of difference there. So um, take a look at the different options and go from there. All right, guys. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you what this looks like uh, in action. Now, um, cut me a little bit of slack here because it is very hard to get the camera in a position where it sees what my eye sees when I look through the microscope. So um, I'm gonna use some footage that Joe has. He's one of the developers on the team and also some pictures that he's taken. And I am going to try to get my camera lined up so I can get you guys some footage as well. But I'll tell you, it is a different experience when you're looking through it yourself because it, it, it it's, it, like I said, it's very hard to get the camera in a position where my eye sees. You know, if you've ever tried to take a picture to to get somebody's help it, and with your phone, it's, it's very hard to get it lined up perfectly. Um, so it's going to be that same thing, only it's going to be a video. Uh, so that's going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, but I'll do what I can. All right. So uh, again, without further ado, let's see what this thing does. All right, guys. So this first footage here is mine, and it's very hard to do because the camera is in front of the microscope so i'm literally doing this um from my tv and kind of looking at where i'm going you can see i'm in diet mode now and i'm going to take a measurement here with of course the wrong probe on ground let's try this again and you can see it's very quick it's very responsive well, maybe if i actually get the connection there there we go and you can see the response from when I actually lift up the probe, okay? You can't look at where I'm putting it down because I'm not making contact properly the first time. But when I lift up the probe, let's see how long it takes to go back to OL. It's pretty immediate, okay? Um, you know, if you get the nicer multimeter, the response time will be quicker. Again, I'm not even making contact here because I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. All right, so it's very, very quick, very responsive. And again, the field of view is horrible. This is not what I see when I'm looking through it. This is just how I can get my camera. Let me just show you guys how my camera is right now. Let me switch you over here. If you can look how the camera is looking through the scope, and this took me about 15 to 20 minutes to get it to look as good as it does there, which is is still not very good at all. So uh, next I'm gonna show you Joe's footage, which he had managed, um, damn engineers, he had managed to actually make something to attach a camera to the microscope so you can see it properly. So next I'll show you his footage. Now I wanted to keep this footage in simply because I like how it shows the one eye is in constant focus when the no matter how out of focus your microscope is. So it is designed to stay in focus.
All right guys, so now that you've seen it in action, let's go ahead and talk about some of the compatibilities. Okay, so at this time we do have software that runs on a PC that allows you to use it with OBS, control the field of view, all of that good stuff. Uh, currently, at this point in time, it is not compatible with the Mac. So if you are running a Mac-based system, there are still ways to communicate with it and adjust the field of view, but currently we cannot use it with OBS on the Mac, etc. Okay, so uh, if you do use a Mac and you want to adjust the field of view, uh, there's cool term and there will be instructions on how to use that. That, uh, in the instruction manual. All right, so the next step is to hop over to a PC and see what this thing can do on that side. All right, guys, so once you download the One Eye software package, it will come in a zip file, and I have already extracted the file here. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and open that. And of course, it'll be One Eye software. And inside this directory, you'll have a couple of different options. You'll have the updating software the viewing software that's kind of going to be the overlay and then the manual so let's go ahead and open up the manual real quick okay and the first thing you're going to see here is it says hey you know if you have to manually install the driver here's what you do so here's how you check that if you go into device manager here and you'll see ports or you'll see other devices if you see other devices that means you'll more than likely have to go ahead and go to this link and download the drivers for it so windows 10 is pretty good normally about picking up the driver automatically so it should happen automatically and while you're here i do want you to pay attention to the com and then number okay that's going to be important later all right so you should see Silicon Labs, CP210X, USB to UART bridge, and COM3. So I'm gonna pay attention to that COM3 because that's important. Okay, and then we're gonna skip past the instructions here a little bit. Of course, read them, but that, definitely read the instructions. All right, I skipped over part of the instructions and I really didn't mean to. So to kind of go over what they said was there are two buttons on this device. One is a soft reset and one is a orientation adjustment. Now to go over a soft reset, essentially if you have problems with Bluetooth connection or it not reading properly, just hit that soft reset button. It will reset the device and it should work properly after that. Now the orientation adjustment is exactly what it sounds like. Now you can have this device, um, just unscrew this here. You can have this device essentially uh, any way you want it in your eye. You can either have it on top, as I showed you in the video, you can have it to the left, or you can have it to the bottom, okay? So when you have that orientation adjustment button, all it does is change the text, that way your multimeter reads right, depending on you have how you have it in the field of view. So again, just read those instructions and it will answer a lot of basic questions. Next, we're going to open up the one I viewer software okay it's gonna ask us what com port do you want to select all right so again we're gonna go back to that previous thing we're gonna select com 3 that is the one I viewer okay and then we'll select okay and you'll see here it shows OL and that means it's connected now I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my multimeter and then it should say no connection perfect that means it is communicating properly we'll turn the uh, Bluetooth back on and there it goes to connect all right, so to adjust the field of view, here's what we do. We go ahead and make sure the one eye window is selected by clicking on it here, down here at the bottom. Again, you cannot click on it here. We'll go ahead and hit Control Shift P, okay? This will enter programming mode and allow us to adjust it. Now, a gamer made this, so it is going to be E with WASD, okay? W will move the display up. S will move it down, D will move it to the right, and A will move it to the left, okay? And this is the field of view, what you're actually viewing in the microscope. So now that I've already entered programming mode, I can go ahead and hit S. And as I hit S, it will actually drop down uh, on my microscope. And if I hit Z, it will increase the brightness, etc. So you get to play with that and have that uh, multimeter reading wherever in your eye you would actually like it. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions on how to use the device, head over to oneihud.com. We have an FAQ section, which answers a bunch of basics. Otherwise, you guys enjoy and have a fantastic weekend.